Hey guys, Stephen here with another fragrance first impressions of sorts and this is about Fahrenheit, about Fahrenheit cologne, the original and a fake cure. So I've been on a bit of a spending spree lately. I saw this quite cheap and I went out and bought it. It's gonna use about 60 mil remaining. I bought a 50 mil of brand new Fahrenheit because I did buy this, which is 100 mil. But just look at the bottles, man, like this stuff. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is gonna be one of the worst fakes that I've seen. I mean, look at the lettering here. You know, I've been scratching off my fingernails, so the letters are coming off, and just the way the spacing is, it's terrible. I bought this for like £35, I think, or something like that. And when it arrived, I had to admit, I just laughed out loud. I was like, oh, what the hell is that? The smell is just gone within a matter of seconds. You spray this on. I did actually smell, smell it from the cap as well. Another thing is the atomizer here is, is, is grey when it should be black. And also the lettering on the, on the cap too is a bit just wrong, to be honest. If you compare it to this one. I hope you can see that. Yeah, it just, it's rubbish. So yeah, once it, once it arrived, I just laughed, you know, smelling it from the cap, there's, there is gasoline, that kind of Fahrenheit accord, and I thought, oh, that actually smells decent. And yeah, there, it does actually smell good, but when you put it on, literally, it just, there's no smell at all. It's like, it's ridiculous. You might have seen me playing guitar with this in a recent video and just squirting it like mad. Yeah, it's fake, you know. The seller refunded me my money, he doesn't, he doesn't want the bottle back. So he obviously knows he's selling fakes, I think. And yeah, I just had a laugh, you know. This is a complete piece of shit, but I got a free fake Fahrenheit, but obviously I'm not gonna wear it, because it's rubbish. So I'll be doing first impression of Fahrenheit Cologne. I haven't actually, uh, sorry, I mean, I've already smelled this. I didn't film my first impressions on camera. And you know, I've, just, I've worn Fahrenheit a lot. I got nothing much to say, but, well, I got a lot to say about this, but uh, this video isn't for that. So kind of forget this for the time being. I just wanted to mention this fake one in the longs with this because yeah, just watch out, you know. Also, hopefully the camera's gonna pick up like this outline here. There's, I took a photo of it and there's a very obvious uh, kind of bluey sticker on here. The label at the bottom says EDP and it's obviously not Fahrenheit Parfum. So just uh, so many things wrong with that, so many things. So yeah, I got this two days ago and I was gonna do a fragrance first impressions of it, you know, smell it on camera for the first time, but I just kind of didn't for some reason. And yeah, you know, I've looked at this a lot because when I did smell it, I'll be honest, I thought it was a fake. You know, I've read reviews on Fragrantica and people are saying that it was quite weak when others are saying it has decent longevity. And when I sprayed it for the first time, I literally could smell nothing. I was smelling my hand like that, you know, I give it a couple of seconds to let the alcohol dissipate. And I was like, what the hell is that? Like, there's no smell whatsoever. I was quite pissed off. Like, I studied the bottle really intensely trying to see any defects and see if it's fake. You know, scratching the lettering them off. But no, you know, this this is actually genuine. I've worn this fragrance today. Now I've tested it for the first time. And I wore it to work. So I put it on at half past, six, half past eight in the morning. And come about half eleven when I went for first break. I was sitting in the car with a colleague and... I said to him, you know, you know, can you can you smell me? And he said no, and you know, he's sitting in, in the seat opposite next to me in the car, so you're only a foot away. And then he said, oh, hang on a minute, are you wearing Fahrenheit? So yeah, you know, even though I thought the smell was really weak, it was projected for at least like a foot and a half, and that Fahrenheit DNA is definitely there. Like all day now, it, it comes seven o'clock, I can actually still smell this. I mean, it's nearly eight o'clock now and it's become a skin scent, but 12 hours on and there's still a notable smell. It could be stuck to my shirt, but it's definitely not as weak as I thought. And also on the first day that I tested it, I went in the shower maybe two hours after putting it on. And like the slightest drop of water just really awoke the fragrance. So when I was standing there in the shower, I could really smell it quite strongly. So I gotta say, I'm quite happy with this. In terms of the smell, it opens with a very bright citrus. It's very fresh, but it doesn't go into sweet territory at all. It's very just, it has the Fahrenheit DNA in there as well. So it has that kind of strong violet note. It kind of has that gasoline without the leather aspect to it. And it is a lighter version of Fahrenheit for sure. I believe Aqua Fahrenheit is being discontinued now in place of this, which I've never smelled. So I may want to try that before it's hard to get. 
But it's a really good fragrance, you know, it's very versatile because it's a, a very much a lighter version of Fahrenheit. Like with this, I've worn this in the summer, I have no problems with, with it. It's really weird the scent is. Sometimes I get that kind of burnt gasoline vibe and sometimes I get a really over the top floral kind of bomb if you will. And it's hit or miss like and that allows it to be quite versatile as well. So people have been questioning in, you know, is there any point in this fragrance? But I think the vers versatility of this is definitely, definitely more than the originals. And I think come spring and summer now, you definitely find good, good uses to wear this. And based on my experience today, I'm really happy with it. It's definitely not a fake, you know, I don't know what happened with that first smell, but it really did kind of make me suspicious, but today has proven it's a good scent and I really do enjoy this. So yeah, I got about three hours projection maybe, and the longevity has been, it was probably like six or seven hours it dried down to a very subtle skin scent. However, it's remained there for the further, a further five hours. So this has been great. Again, I don't know why I was buying this, because, you know, I've been burned in the past on eBay. I bought that fake Narciso Rodriguez for him. So I should have been quite wary buying this, given the price. But, yeah, I was lucky to get my money back and not have to go through the hassle of returning it. So just be wary, you know, there's lots of dodgy people out there on eBay, so just be kind of cautious of what you're buying. I should have been so I should have been more suspect. The bottle here was kind of pictured at an angle, so you couldn't really see the dodgy writing. But yeah, I know. Good stuff. So thanks for watching this, guys. And I got a few more videos to film now. I've got loads of like first impressions to do further follow-ups on, and I have three packages arriving now, which I need to do. I'll do first impression smells of these. So watch out for more videos and like and subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm really joking. Right, take care and <laughs> see you later. <laughs>